we are looking at front squats. So that is similar to a back squat, except the bar position is in the front rack position, so it's resting on your shoulders, not your wrists. Really important. You need to have the mobility and stability in your shoulder girdle, thoracic cavity, to be able to get into that front rack position. There's other options for hand placement, but for today, we're just gonna show you the traditional front squat position. And what also what I love about this exercise is that because of that front rack position, it forces you to stay nice and tall and neutral in your spine. If you get too bent forward, like can happen in a back squat, that you're allowed to come here. In a back squat, you can still come out of that hole and put a lot of stress on your back. In a front squat, if I get in that position and the weight is significant, that bar is gonna dump and I'm out. So it forces you to maintain a nice tall spine. So front rack position, you're gonna take a grip a little wider than your shoulders. Get those elbows through and up. And again, in this position, I'm screwing my feet into the floor, so I've got an active foot bed, and I've got very little pressure on my wrists. That weight is sitting on my shoulders, just in front of my collar. So, chin is tucked, spine is long, drop in, elbows spike to stay high, break parallel, and out you go. Tall, load those hips, let those ankles flex, the knees will basically take care of themselves, and that is front squat. If you want to learn more about how to get the mobility and ability to hit that exercise well, direct message me. We've got bench supported one arm dumbbell rows. Again, continuing to work the posterior chain, upper back muscles, biceps are getting worked, posterior shoulder and all that. So you've got one leg up, other leg is stable, hips are level and square to the ground, shoulders are going to stay level and square to the ground. Support yourself here, lock that, that opposite arm into the bench, don't sag through here, stay tall. And then you're gonna pull and that dumbbell's gonna end up outside your rib cage. Shoulder opens up, chest opens up, and you're gonna pause at the top for just a moment. Making sure that your shoulder does not roll forward. Bench supported one arm, dumbbell rows.